This is, I think, one of the, the most dangerous logics that a drinker can have, and that's that drinking alcohol is enjoyable. Really, right? Ask yourself, is alcohol really enjoyable? When I was drinking, I think being generous, one in every 10 episodes of me drinking was enjoyable. And I drank for over 30 years. And with all my clients, with every, everyone that comes on the program, I ask them, this is a question that we go through regularly is, you know, what enjoyment did you get out of alcohol? What, what were the benefits you got out of alcohol? And you'll find responses within that framework of maybe one in 10. You know, often it's one in 20 or one in 30. You know, once you've been drinking for any length of time, it becomes more habitual than anything else, rather than enjoyment. The enjoyment is more in the anticipation of having the drink. You know, I used to enjoy that buzz of wanting to go to the pub. Um, I never got that when I was going home, you know, to a dark house on my own and uh, have, having and going, oh, look at me, I'm gonna go home and drink my alcohol tonight, you know? It was always the anticipation of going to the pub. As soon as you got to the pub and you had that first pint, that anticipation was gone. So I suppose there was a bit of uh, a thrill in that. But that's the only thing. And how sad is that, you know? Now, I never got that same buzz when I was at home. Whenever I was drinking at home, I never got that same buzz because I was drinking on my own. And if you want to test this theory, a good way of testing it is find yourself a room, right? An empty room somewhere. Um, no pictures on the wall, just a white wall, a chair slapped in the middle of that room. And then drink your alcohol and see how much fun you're having then. You know, it's always the situation that provides the fun. It's always the context that you're in. You know, when you walk into a pub, for me, walking into a pub after a hard day's work and seeing my friends there and being able to chat with my friends about anything, you know, about anything and everything, and mostly about crap stuff, you know, just the um, normal run of the day shit there, talking nonsense, you know, putting the worlds to rights. It was warm, there was food there, there was friendly bar staff, there was friendly people around, and it's designed for that, right? You know, let's face it. But that's what we're going for. The atmosphere, the music, um, a game on the TV. Just in Ireland, they call it the crack, you know, just having the fun. Um, but like I said, for me, even in the pub, it was one in 10, one in 10 times. Normally it was just going into the pub and it was something that I did at the end of the day. I'd have uh, my few pints, I'd have the meal, um, and then I'd go home and that was it. And, and for me, it was, it was such a waste. It's only when I look back on this, right? And I look back from where I am now, um, you know, and I could see this after um, a couple of months of stopping drinking alcohol. When I look back and I see how much enjoyment I'm getting in my life now, how much um, diverse enjoyment I'm getting in my life in so many different areas of my life, how much contentment I'm getting just from being alive. You know, that says everything. Whereas when I look back on that, it was just a, a real weakened down version of living. You know, not, necessarily, not just a weakened down version of fun, but a weakened down version of living. And that's bad, Mo. Now, the big problem with this is that alcohol traps you into doing the same thing. Thinking that you're finding enjoyment out of this traps you into that idea that you can only find enjoyment out of doing this because that's what you've reduced your life to. You know, needing more of the drug, spending more time on the drug, spending more energy on the drug, spending more money on the drug, which means that you're spending less time, less money, less energy for the other things in life, for the most important things. And alcohol becomes a black hole, a void that is just sucking everything else into it. Like I said, you know, I used to think that alcohol was an enjoyment for me. And then it turned out that I needed alcohol then to find any enjoyment in my life. And the enjoyment was such a watered down fucking version of it. It was ridiculous. And it's a con. It's a con that's propagated by the alcohol industry. Just look at those fucking adverts that they've got. That are just, everybody is happy. Everybody is smiling. You never show the vomit outside the pub or the fighting or the misery that's created in people's lives with this drug use. They don't even call it a drug. For fuck's sake. Yes, life is about building positive habits, you know, especially after alcohol, of getting those positive habits in your life. And they're the things that are going to create the foundational stone for moving you forwards. I mean, repetition is good in so many different ways in your life, but so is variety, you know, having many different things that are delivering positive results back into your life. You know, the ability to have time, right, to 
increase the quantity of the time that you've got, but also increase the quality of your time. That is the most important thing. And to have energy, you know, to have the energy to use that time to the best of your abilities to move you forwards and to get you all those positive emotions that you want in life. You know, the energy to, to grow, to expand, to progress, to make progress in your life, to reach your potential, to flourish in your life. But alcohol does the exact opposite for you right? It shrinks everything that is positive in your life. Anything that can deliver you a positive emotion, alcohol will shrink and it will expand all the shit in your life, all the things that deliver you negative emotions. It will certainly expand those. Even the things that you consider to be enjoyable in your life, those things, those outside things that are delivering you some form of enjoyment, they'll shrink and they'll disappear. You destroy everything because everything, as I said, gets involved in this get sucked into the alcohol void, into that black hole. You know, when I was drinking alcohol, I really forgot what it was like to have enjoyment. And the worst thing was, I didn't even know it at the time. I thought I was enjoying, you know, one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they have a fear of missing out, that they think that just because they take the alcohol out of their lives, that they're going to miss out on all these things. Like I said, enjoyment is in context. And there were so many different things in my life that were just being um, ripped apart because of my enjoyment. Um, all my uh, emotions were started getting linked to, to, to alcohol. So I needed the alcohol to push down the negative emotions. And those negative emotions were growing as my problems were growing, as my life was sinking. You know, those negative emotions were really dragging me down. So it was a drink to, was the only thing that I could do in that moment. So I thought, but it was also the, the positive emotions that my mind was getting linked to that positivity that um, um, I could only have happiness. I could only feel fun when I was drinking and it's such bullshit, right? So um, what I want you to do next, watch this video on uh, how bad alcohol is.